Hi, and welcome to our YouTube channel. This is How to Unlock Spanish, and I'm Ithiar. In today's video, we are going to learn how to master the photocard task of the speaking GCSE exam. We are teachers and tutors specialized in the GCSE exam. So if you are going to take the exam this year or next year, this channel is for you. Please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the tips, topic revision or workshops we are going to publish. Also, please like the video so we know that you would like more videos like this one to be recorded for you. Please visit our GCSE section in www.howtounlockspanish.com if you want to check the grammar, revision exercises and exam tips we published there. So let's dive in. In today's video, we are going to learn how to master the photocard. We are going to see what is the photocard, how long do I have, how long does it take, how many marks is the photocard, what is the photocard like, and how do I face the photocard task. So what's the photocard? The photocard is a task within the speaking Spanish exam. As you know, the GCSE Spanish exam has four different papers. Paper number two is speaking and it will take place the first one. The speaking exam has three different tasks. The first one is the role play, the second one is the photocard and the third one is the general conversation. But today, now in this video, we are going to focus on the photocard. So, how does the exam work? First, you have a preparation time. It's 12 minutes and during the preparation time, you are going to have your role play card, your photo card and a blank page. You are not allowed, allowed any notes, books, dictionaries. You only have those three papers. Then you enter the examination room and you are allowed to keep those three papers only through the role play and the photocard. Then you have to give those papers to the examiner and then you will carry on with the general conversation. So uh, as soon as you get into the examination room, the teacher, who is the examiner, will be introducing each of the parts of the speaking exam in the target language. This means in Spanish. So the teacher will say something like, okay, now we are going to do role play. And between the role play and the photo car, she will also say, now we are going to do the photo card. And then she will ask you for your papers. And she will say, now we are going to start with the general conversation. And how long do I have for the photo card? So, as we said before, we have 12 minutes of preparation time for both role play and photo card. And then, if you are taking the AQA uh, exam board uh, for the photo card for foundation, you will have two minutes, and higher, you will have three minutes. If you are taking the Edexcel exam board exam, you will have two and a half to, two, to three minutes for foundation and three to three. And I have okay. And how many marks is the photocard? The speaking exam is 25% of the total Spanish GCSE exam, both for AQA and Edexcel. In AQA, the photocard is 50 marks, both in foundation and higher. So this means 25% uh, of the speaking exam and 6.3 out of the total GCSE Spanish exam. If you are taking at Excel, at Excel will be uh, 24 marks foundation and higher for the photo cards. Uh, these would be 34% of the speaking exam and 8.5 out of the total Spanish exam. So what's the photo card like? Let's have a look first to the AQA board. 
In the AQA board, we can see like the photocard will always have five questions. But during the preparation time, you are only going to have the photograph and the first three questions. The first question is always, ¿Qué hay en la foto? Okay, so both the foundation and the higher have the same uh, look and the same number of questions available during the preparation time. That's in the AQA board, all right? And this material, I, I got it uh, from the AQA board official website. And here you have the links and the sources. So if we take a closer look, we can see that the first question, as we said before, is going to be ¿Qué hay en la foto? For the second question and third question in foundation, we can see they proposed ¿Para qué usaste tu ordenador ayer? So in foundation, they are asking in the past. And the third question will be ¿Cuál es tu opinión de Facebook? So they are asking for opinion. For higher, they proposed the same photograph in the specimen paper, the samples they, they offered when the examination uh, new specification came out. But the questions are a little different. Is que hay en la foto again? And then the second question is ¿Prefieres usar el móvil o el ordenador? ¿Por qué? And the third question is, en un día ideal, ¿te gustaría pasar tiempo en el ordenador o saliendo con tus amigos? ¿Por qué? Ok, and now let's have a look at the Excel board. The Excel board also have five bullets or five questions, but in foundation we can see that we are going to have all the bullets available during the preparation time. Instead of que hay en la foto, the photocard will say describe la foto. So describe the photo. And what about higher? Higher, in higher, we will have the five bullets, but the last bullet is going to be an exclamation mark. So the, the only the last bullet is going to be the one you don't know. Let's take a closer look to the foundation and higher sample that we are using. Both samples and a lot more are available in Pearson's website. It's a document called uh, Pearson at Excel level and a longer name that you can see on the screen. That's the source of these cards. So let's have a look to foundation and higher cards. In foundation, as we said before, you have the five bullets during the preparation time. As you can see in higher, the fifth bullet is only an exclamation mark, which is telling you that this question is going to be a surprise question and you will only hear this question in your actual exam talking to the examiner. So, what's the difference between the first bullet? There is no difference at all. It's the description de la foto. Between the second bullet, we can see, like in foundation, uh, the second bullet is saying, tu opinión sobre comer con la familia. And in higher, we can see a more difficult wording, because it says, like, la importancia de pasar tiempo con amigos. The third question in foundation is, lo que comiste en una cena especial? The fourth one is, lo que te gustaría preparar para tus amigos? And the fifth one is, tu opinión sobre la compra por internet y en supermercados. Whereas in higher, we can see the second question uh, is, as we said, la importancia de pasar tiempo con amigos. The third one is, la última vez que comiste al aire libre. And the fourth one is, lo que harás para ayudar en casa este fin de semana. The fifth one, as we said, is a surprise question. So how do I face the photocard? That's the important thing, right? Now that we know what the photocard is about and what it looks like, now we have to really learn and understand how the marks are going to be granted in the photocard. The photocard has 
the first question, which is ¿Qué hay en la foto? Describe la foto and other four questions. Okay, during these five questions, you have to really give a lot of information about the topic or what is going on in the photograph. But the most important thing is to give the opinion and to talk in, by, in, in the three different tenses. You have to talk in the past, you have to talk in the present, and you have to talk in the future. So in order to get all the marks, you need to answer the questions properly, answer the question and not answer something else about the topic, but answer the question. You have to describe the photograph uh, properly, you will give information about the topic if you are just describing the photograph. So learning how to describe a photograph is a must. And then during the other four questions, you are going to talk in the past, in the present and in the future. When you talk in the past, it's likely that you are going to have a question in the past. Right. So if you see one of the questions that are given to you during the preparation time in the past, just answer it in the past. So you don't have to answer every question in the past, present and future. Uh, the thing to do would be just answer in the same tense you are asked. But if you are during the preparation time and you don't see any question in the past, for example, it's very likely that you are going to have one of the surprise questions in the past. So you could prepare some keywords, um, key verbs in the past, uh, like forecasting what kind of question you are going to have. So let's dive in a little in the Palmer technique. The Palmer technique is going to help you face the first question, the que hay en la foto o describe la foto. Palmo stands for six different words that are going to work like a checklist for you to know what to say about a photograph. So the P, for example, stands for people and places. So you can say, en la foto hay una persona, en la foto hay tres personas, hay un chico, hay una chica, you can describe them, tiene el pelo negro, tiene el pelo largo, or you can also describe the places, maybe, hay una catedral o hay una casa grande. And you can give details about this description. A stands for action. So please describe, always, always say what they are doing, right? So you can say están cocinando. You can say están reciclando. So have a look at the photo card. It's very likely to have keywords and info you can use during the description of the photograph. You may see like environment, you can see medio ambiente, you can see reciclaje, you can see reciclar in the rest of the questions or in the title. So please, during the preparation time, always, always read from the beginning to the end of the photo card and uh, have a look at what keywords you may be able to use or to be inspired by. Okay, so let's go to the L. The L stands for location. So uh, you may say they uh, están en un colegio o están en el campo o están, I don't know, en la universidad. M stands for mood. So you can say, parece contento, if they look happy, o parecen tristes, parecen concentrados, o parecen contentos, O stands for opinion. So you can give your opinion about the photograph. Uh, please remember, give two sides opinions, like saying, me parece importante reciclar porque es bueno para el medio ambiente, pero es un rollo, pero es aburrido. Okay? Pero es un rollo means, but it's boring. W stands for weather. So if they are outside, of course, you cannot say anything if they are inside. But if they are outside, you can say hace buen tiempo o hace mal tiempo. 
when the people is inside, if you don't have more information to say about the photograph because you cannot think of things to say, you may say, parece que hace buen tiempo porque lleva ropa de verano. So it looks like they, uh, it's, it's good weather because uh, they are wearing um, summer clothes. Okay, so the Palmo technique. Please have a look at our workshop about uh, describing the photo and the Palmo technique. We are going to say a lot of examples about what to say in every one of these letters and these people, action, location, mood, opinion, weather. And we are also going to have like a lot of photographs and we are going to describe them so you can get a lot of training in this workshop. So please subscribe to our channel and go and have a look to this photograph workshop that we are going to record uh, for the next video. Okay, so as we said, we have four other questions and you have to be really careful and answer the questions. So please read carefully and if they're asking for what are the, the advantages of the social uh, uh, social uh, networks and, and the internet or the technology, please don't don't say what is your opinion, but you could say what are the advantages, right? Then please do use three tenses. But remember, you don't have to use the three tenses in every question. Yes, cover the three tenses all along the photograph card. And then three, Try to forecast and write a list of useful expressions and useful verbs in, in the tense you think that is very likely to be the following and, uh, and surprise question. So that's the end of the video. Don't forget to like it if you want us to make more videos like this one. If you want to learn more about the photo card, next you should watch the Palmo Technique and Workshop video, where you can learn expressions and practice with a lot of photocards. Remember to subscribe to the channel, How to Unlock Spanish, so you don't miss any of the tip tips, topic revision and workshops we are going to publish. You can visit our GCSE section in www.howtounlockspanish.com for grammar, revision, exercises and exam, exam tips. Please take care and revise well.